Okay, so now we're going to look at this problem. Um, so again, as I mentioned before, when we're dealing with radius of convergence, there's basically two things that we can do. Um, may, maybe three, depending on how you count. Um, one is to try to realize or recognize what we have um, or what we're given as kind of um, a perturbation or an alteration of a series we already know about or recognize it as a series we already know about. So for example, in a previous problem we did on this practice test, we saw that the um, we saw that the um, the series was actually a geometric series and then we could just apply what we know from geometric series. That's one way. Uh, the other way, which is what we're going to do, is to use the ratio test because this is not a geometric series. The k in the denominator there makes this not a geometric series. Um, however, we do have an exponent. We have x minus 1 to the power of k, which means that, that we can apply the radius test, or the, I mean the ratio test. So we're going to look at the ratio test, and remember the ratio test means look at the absolute value of one term over the absolute value of the succeeding over the previous term. So the absolute value of ak plus 1 over the absolute value of ak. So that's what we're going to do. The absolute value of ak plus 1 over the absolute value of ak. Okay, absolute values, when I do absolute values around minus 1 to the power of k, that's just equal to 1. So I'm going to have x minus 1 to the power of k plus 1 over k plus 1, and I'm going to multiply it by 1 over a k. That's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Uh, so k over the absolute value of x to the power of k. We don't need absolute value signs around k and k plus 1 because those are both non-negative. They're both positive, in fact, for uh, this series starting at 1. Okay, um, so now I'm going to rearrange it. This is k over k plus 1, and then when I do, oops, typo here, this is x minus 1. Okay, when I do x minus 1 to the power of k plus 1 over x minus 1 to the power of k, that's just x minus 1. Uh, and this goes, since k over k plus 1 goes to 1 as k goes to infinity, this just goes to x minus 1. So, by the ratio test, this converges absolutely um, when this is this is this absolute value of x minus one, that is the limit in the ratio test. So it converges absolutely when that is less than one. When the absolute value of x minus one is less than one. Okay, or we can write this in the following way: um, minus one is less than x minus one is less than one. Or if we add one to both sides, we can write this as zero is less than x is less than two. Now this doesn't tell us anything about the endpoints. We, we know that it converges absolutely on the interval 0 to 2. We don't know what happens at the endpoints yet. So the radius of convergence is equal to 1. It's this number here. And the interval of convergence, well, we know the left-hand point is 0. We know the right-hand point is 2, but we don't know what happens at either one of those endpoints. So let's look at each one. In, let's look at each endpoint. We have to test each endpoint separately. Okay, so let's look at what happens when x is equal to zero. That's the left-hand endpoint. The series we're going to look at the sum k equals one uh, to infinity. We're going to have minus one to the power of k. Zero minus one to the power of k over k. So this is the sum k equals one to infinity. Okay, so what's going to happen? Um, 0 minus 1 to the power of k, that's just minus 1 to the power of k. We have minus 1 to the power of k times minus 1 to the power of k, that's 1. So this is just 1 over k, and this diverges. This diverges because it's a harmonic series. So then at 0, we don't include 0, so we have a soft bracket there. Uh, now we have to look separately at x is equal to 2. Okay, when we look at x is equal to 2, the series is the sum k equals 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k. Okay, so now it's going to be 2 minus 1 to the power of k over k. And now this is the sum k equals 1 to infinity. Okay, I'm going to have my minus 1 to the power of k. 2 minus 1, that's just 1. Raises to the power of k, it's still just 1. So then this is over k, and this converges 
by the alternating series test. Um, and if we take absolute values, we just get 1 over k, so it converges conditionally there. So it converges absolutely on the interval 0 to 1 and conditionally at, uh, sorry, zero. this is 0 to 2. and conditionally at x is equal to 2, or yeah, and conditionally at x is equal to 2.